Good morning, Eastern High School. This is uh, your host, Ken Yang, and welcome to the Senior Show. Uh, here we have with us four good-looking uh, seniors. And uh, first off, can I get an introduction to you guys? Like, what's your name and uh, one interesting about you guys? I'm Courtney Russell, and I'm class president of the senior class. Mm -hmm. I'm Tanika Christie, and I'm a senior, I guess. I'm Jordan King, and I've been to nine countries, not including this one. Oh, cool. I'm Chris Pfeiffer, and I like U of M football. Cool, cool. Well, thank you for joining us here today. And um, first, I'm going to start you guys off with a question. What activities or clubs or sports do you guys play or do in this school? I'm on the Pom Pom team, and I run track and field. Mm -hmm. What's it like to do with the Pom? experience? Um, practices are pretty tough, but the final outcome is worth it. Mm. You guys did a good job at the uh, pep rally. Thank you. Well, I'm not in any clubs, but I'm going to do track and probably softball this mm. year. So, yeah. What are you going to do to prep up the um, track? Probably to practice and run. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I do model you and I'm trying out for the basketball team. Okay. That's cool. Um starting Bible club this year. Mm -hmm. Trying to get that going. It's about all. You spread the gospel. Mm -hmm. I feel you. Okay. What was one of your first impressions of Eastern High School? Uh, well, I came here my sophomore year, so it was kind of crazy seeing all these people in the hallway because I came, I'd come from Lansing Catholic where there's mm -hmm. like barely anyone there. So it was kind of weird. I thought it was big and kind of old. I thought it was like a lot of kids than I was used to in middle school. Mm. Yeah. I found it to be what she said pretty big and old, and I lost, got lost quite a few times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know I said too. It was such a big school that it was so confusing trying to find your mm. classes and stuff. But after a while, not too bad. Okay, what do you guys, <clears throat> if you guys were to compare middle school and high school, how is it different? Middle school is like your awkward stages. You're trying to just figure out, am I still going to be a little kid that I was in elementary or the big high school kid? And then high school is where either you lose your immaturity or you just be mature. Well, what's different from middle school and high school, middle school for me was kind of organized in the hallways. People like walk in lines, well, not like lines, but it was much needed than they do in high school. And that's what I miss about middle school, hallways. In middle school for me, it was really unorganized because I moved every year. I was never at a middle school for a consecutive year, but I've been all four years here. Mm -hmm. So it's been pretty stable here. I know it's high school, you're starting to get more independent and stuff. Middle school, they give you everything and make sure you do it, but high school, they kind of leave it to you. Yeah, well, <clears throat> and then the question is, what was one of your favorite classes in Eastern and why? My favorite class was economics with Mr. Jason because I remember every single thing from that class. Mm -hmm. What did he do to make you guys learn? Just how he taught would make it stick in your brain mm -hmm. and like get you interested in the subject. My favorite um, was English freshman year, Miss Turner, because just coming out of middle school, like she was like the cool teacher, and I like I liked her how she teach. So yeah, favorite teacher. Well, up in um, English, what I uh, I know that um, you know they read a lot of books. Like what books would you say is the best book you guys have read up in your class? I would say Thorn. Well, no, that's not a book, is it? <laughs> um, I don't know. It's freshman year. Oh, I don't know. It's okay. Don't remember those days. My favorite book is, or my favorite class is my English class this year because I have tons of friends in there and it's not exactly organized, which kind of suits my style. Mm. <laughs> what would you say your style is? <laughs> Unorganized, hectic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I feel you. I'd say Mr. Rick Deuce, just mm. because I've had him for three years now, like 
like a semester. Mm. And I always like that class because it's a class where they're not too mm. pushing you to get everything done, you know? Mm. You work at your own pace and still get everything done. Yeah. I like working in class. It's a really, uh, really cool time. Mm-hmm. See that? Okay. Now, who was one of your favorite teachers and why? I'd say, even though like I just had her this year, Miss Turner is mm-hmm. probably one of my favorite teachers because she's like she doesn't play favorites mm-hmm. and she grades fairly. It's cool equality. I I would have to say Mr. Jason, mm-hmm. um, probably because I like how his personality is. Like he's not. I would say that he's down to earth, you know, because mm-hmm. you don't really notice that in some teachers because some teachers they kind of like strict and all they want is like your homework in or some other time Mr. Jason he actually talks and I don't know I just I mm-hmm. like him favorite teacher I would say Miss Ryan from my freshman year she was a cool person cool person all right Chris um I have to be like Mr. Richter and Miss Petrov from my freshman year yes that was such a good teacher. Yes. Miss Director, so chill. <laughs> I would say Miss Petrov, because, you no, know, me honestly, as a, as like a freshman back then, you know, she helped me a lot, so she's a pretty cool teacher. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> what has changed most about you throughout high school? I've definitely gotten more serious. Because sophomore year, everything, like, no one seemed to care. So I just didn't care, but now, like, I really am focused on my schoolwork. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and just, like, I'm more serious than what I was freshman year. Because freshman year, I thought it was, like, a big joke. And I really didn't do no homework. I followed my tests. But now, since I'm a senior, I'm more focused than I ever was to graduate on time. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I don't think much has changed about me since freshman year. I'm still immature and not really serious about anything. Only thing that's really changed is my height. Yeah, your height. <laughs> I've noticed I've just matured a lot more. Mm. Just coming into freshman year and then you look back at those freshmen now. Yeah, you're like, oh, <laughs> right, oh kids. my god. It's like, like, was I really like that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Great question. So yeah. Okay, now. Okay, if you could start high school all over again, what would you do different? Do every single homework assignment Mm -hmm. and do it right. (laughs) Yeah, turn in my work on time, study for my quizzes and tests. Mm -hmm. I definitely study. I barely do it now. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Um, My sophomore year I had physics Mm -hmm. and I almost failed that class so close. And it really wasn't that hard uh-huh. if I actually would have been listening and stuff, and I probably would just redo that. You're just slacking, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I feel you, my brother. <laughs> All right. If you could get advice, give advice to incoming freshmen, what would you say? Don't take high school as a joke. Take every single year seriously. Mm. What you do freshman year will, will affect you through your high school years, basically, mm-hmm. and take it seriously. Don't take the little assignments for granted because they kind of add up, yes. and then when you don't do some of them, your grade kind of drops to like a B or a C. Yep. Mm-hmm. I say start off strong, get all your classes, and get everything required. So then your senior year, it's not as much pressure on you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Incoming freshmen as well. Like, school's just grown now, but I don't know. <laughs> what, what are your what are plans after school? Um, I'm gonna go to LCC for two years and MSU for two years on the engineering scholarship. Mm. I'm gonna move down to Florida, Jacksonville, and hopefully I get accepted to Jacksonville University so I can study in education mm. to be an elementary school teacher. I'm still kind of undecided what field I want to go in, but I'm going to go to LCC for a mm-hmm. couple years. Let's see what you can um, find over there. Yeah, what well, I'm good at. Yeah. I want to go to LCC for a couple years mm-hmm. in criminal justice, and then 
hopefully go into the police academy when I turn 20. It's cool. It's cool. I mean, I've always wanted to become a cop, too. Work with the canine units since okay. I like working with animals, too. But I don't know. We'll see where I, we'll see where I go. Okay. Okay. What was your favorite year in high school and why? This year is definitely my favorite year because it's my last year. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, senior year. <laughs> senior year. Yeah, senior year for me, too. Mm -hmm. Maybe sophomore year. Maybe <laughs> sophomore year. Yes. <laughs> because I did so much stuff that year that I wasn't used to. Oh. It's like, tried a whole bunch of new stuff, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd say senior year, just because, like, it's already a lot of fun. I've already been mm -hmm. having fun and stuff, and only like a couple months into it, so. Yeah. Well, as you guys are last year here, so mm -hmm. make the best of it. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What did you guys have for breakfast this morning? <laughs> I had a Pop Tart <laughs> and an apple. And an apple. I had a nasty. Um, I don't know what it was. I thought it was good because it was mm -hmm. warm and I was hungry, but I don't know what it was. I took a bite and I spit it out, but oh. I had milk too. <laughs> I just had some milk and juice from the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. yeah, I didn't eat any breakfast. Eating breakfast. What would you say was the, the best lunch ever here at Eastern High School? First day at school this year, they had this, uh, really cheesy pizza. Mm. I was yes. like, what? Upgrade. <laughs> She's like, I'm done with this. <laughs> yeah, the pizza too. Mm. I do it for the first day of school with pizza. <laughs> After that's been downhill. <laughs> right, it's it. Is. <laughs> I like, um, like the spicy chicken and the um, regular chicken. Yeah. You get that stuff almost every day. It's the best one. Yeah. I mean, for me, I would go and like, go to a quick room, get the, um, Potato bar thing. Mm -hmm. I think that was the best. Just making your own potato. Oh, man, I want some. All right. <clears throat> making me hungry here. Where was your favorite lunch spot? Uh, my favorite lunch spot was sophomore year when we would sit upstairs, mm -hmm. but we kind of migrated back downstairs. <laughs> it's okay. Well, not mm -hmm. My freshman year, um, I used to eat outside in that little part because mm -hmm. it would be so fun. But now, senior year, I'm eating um, downstairs, mm. Quaker room. Yeah. Freshman year until this year, I've been outside in the courtyard. Oh. What do you do out in the courtyard? Do you do? Well, we play catch. We use whatever somebody brings. We play a hacky sack or play mm -hmm. catch with a football or whatever somebody feels like bringing that day. Mm -hmm. That doesn't get stuck on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. My favorite spot was upstairs in the gym, mm -hmm. in the gym, small gym, but this year I'm back in the downstairs. Uh, <laughs> come up there and watch some break dances, man. All right. Okay. If you had $1 million, what would you do with it? Um, I'd definitely pay to go to Ferris State mm -hmm. and then do whatever else I got to do with that money. <laughs> Shopping spree. Probably. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> I would probably give um, some to my church mm -hmm. to help them find a new building. And then I would probably give my mom some, half, and then I'd keep the rest. Mm -hmm. Live in a big house. <laughs> like cool, cool. <laughs> nice plan. I'd definitely save it until I'm after I'm out of school, mm -hmm. maybe pay for some college along the way. Yeah. What would you spend it on if you just know you want something? I have no clue right now. I'm way too immature to trust myself <laughs> to that money. 